Hi guys, so in this video I want to talk you through a few steps of how to simplify fractions using factorization or factorizing. So it's really important to remember that when we want to simplify a fraction, we need to ensure that what we're trying to divide by is present in every term on the top and the bottom of this fraction. So if we take 2x plus 4 all over 10, we must ask ourselves what number divides into each of these terms. Hopefully the number 2 is springing to mind as these are all even numbers. So we must be very careful that when we are trying to simplify that we remove 2 from every single term. And the way that we can ensure that we do this is by factorising. So on the top of my fraction we have 2x plus 4 so I can take out the 2 and ask myself, what do I multiply 2 by to get 2x? And that will be x. And what do I multiply 2 by to get 4? And that will be 2. I do the same on the bottom of my fraction. I say, what does two div how does 2 divide into 10? And that's going to go 5 times. Therefore, on the top of my, the bottom of my fraction, we have the number 2. They are going to divide into each other and we'll be left with 1. So therefore, my answer will be x plus 2 over 5. It's very important to note that if I had 2x plus 1 over 10, for example, this fraction is in its simplest form. I cannot simplify it any further. The reason for that is that 2 is not present in every term in this fraction. And that is because 2 does not divide into the number 1. So just please be very careful that we must make sure that whatever we are dividing the top and the bottom by, that it goes into every single term. If you could pause the video now, have a go at this question, you're being asked to simplify this fraction and play the video to see if you've got the right answer. Okay, so to answer this question again, to simplify it, we must ask ourselves, is there anything that will divide into every single term on the top and the bottom of this fraction? And the answer to that is that the number 5 will divide into every single number. So I am going to factorise out the number 5 and that will then become 5 times what gives me 5x, that's x, and 5 times what gives me minus 15, that's minus 3. On the bottom of my fraction then I say 5 times what gives me 20 and that's 4. Therefore, the fives are going to divide into each other, and we're going to be left with x over three, or sorry, x minus three over four. This question is taken from the junior cert paper, and in the junior cert, it asked us to use factors to simplify the following. So this question is really testing if you are able to factorize expressions, and I'm going to show you now how you can use that to then complete this fractions question. So we need to treat this as two separate questions. The top and the bottom of the fraction we're gonna try and factorize and then we'll put it together and see if anything will divide into each other. If you're struggling with factorization, please go back to the videos which I've done on the, the different types of um, factorizing expressions. For the top of this fraction, we've got 2x squared plus 4x. So we need to ask ourselves, is there anything that's in common between the two terms in this expression? And hopefully we notice that the number 2 is in common and the number, or sorry, the letter x. Therefore, what do we multiply 2x by to get 2x squared? That's going to be x. And what do we multiply 2x by to get 4x? That's going to be plus 2. So the top of my fraction I've now completed. Now I need to go and do the bottom of my fraction. The bottom of my fraction, hopefully we'll remember, is a quadratic. And the way that we learned to solve quadratics is we look at the number uh, without an x and we say to ourselves, what two numbers multiply to give us the number 6? So that's going to be 2 and 3, 3 and 2, 6 and 1, 1 and 6, and 1 has to be a plus and 1 must be a minus. We also need to ask ourselves about the number 2, what two numbers would multiply to give us 2, that's going to be 2 and 1. So then we go down below and we set up our double brackets and we need to place the 2 and the 1 inside, so it's going to be 2x and x. Then we need to do a little bit of trial and error and see which one out of these four 
sets of numbers is going to work. And remember, one must also have a plus and one number must have a minus because they need to multiply to give you minus six. So let's try the first one. So I'm gonna put a two here and a three here. I'm gonna do my smiley faces. Two times x gives me two x, and two x times three gives me six x. We say to ourselves, using pluses and minusing, is there any way that that could give me x? No, there's not. So we know that one doesn't work. We'll go and try this again. So we put our 2x and our x inside, and we'll try 3 and 2 this time. Again, we do our smiley faces. 3 times x gives me 3x, and 2x times 2 gives me 4x. Then we say to ourselves, is there any way by plusing and minusing they can add together to give me plus 1x? They definitely can. And that will work if the 4x is a plus and the 3x is a minus. So we have to put a minus beside the 3 and a plus beside the 2. So now the bottom of our fraction is done. Now with all of that hard work done, we must now go and place the top and the bottom of our fractions back together. So this was our answer to the top, so we'll write down 2x bracket x plus 2. And this answer here was for the bottom, and that's 2x minus 3 by x plus 2. And thankfully, we notice something is happening. We have an x plus 2 on the top and an x plus 2 on the bottom. They are going to divide into each other and give us 1. So therefore, the answer to this is 2x over 2x minus 3. Be very careful at this point again. Some students might say, oh, the two x's cancel on the top and the bottom. However, if we want to get rid of the two x or divide by the two x, we must divide everything by two x. Because the two x does not divide into the minus three, we cannot do that. So that is our final answer. Okay, guys, please have a go at this question now. So we've got 2x plus 4 all over x squared plus 5x plus 6. And what I'd like you to do is to use factorization to simplify. Okay, so for this, we need to ask ourselves, on the top of our fraction, is there anything that we could factorize out? And hopefully you notice that the number 2 can be factorized out. So that's going to give me x plus 2. And then on our bottom of our fraction, we may need to maybe step or go across to the side and work out that one. So I'm going to, going to just do this over to the left-hand side. So we've got x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we say to ourselves, what two numbers multiply to give us 6? So that's going to be 2 and 3, 3 and 2, 1 and 6, 6 and 1. We're lucky on the left-hand side that it's just an x squared. So we can go and put this straight in x and an x and then we say to ourselves which out of those numbers up on the right hand side in red will add together to give me 5x and look we've got a choice of two of them we can put a 2 here and a 3 here and they're both going to be pluses because it's a plus 6x or sorry a plus 6 and a plus 5x do our smiley faces 2x 3x they both add together to give us 5x we've done it correctly so now I'm going to take that answer and put it over to the bottom of my fraction so it's going to give me x plus 2, bracket x plus 3. And again, thankfully, we notice that the x plus 2s can cancel or to can divide into each other to give us 1. So therefore, we're left with 2 over x plus 3, and that's our answer.